Hi, I'm again here in Eagle Pass and I'm with a dear friend, Don, who runs an organization called Tree of Life. They literally live here and they've been seeing this flow of migrants that's coming across my, uh, Mexico day in and day out. He pointed to the clothes lying here and he was talking about how these people come across, take off their wet clothes, put on new clothes, and they're off to a new life in America. Literally hundreds of thousands of people have crossed across from Mexico into America and the flow continues. And we're literally at the border. The other side, like I said, is Mexico. And there's no border guards, no security, nobody's stopping. If you lock your cars, then you should have a lock at the border or at least a fence or something. So if you keep your house locked, then you've got to have a, something to protect this country. Right? We love this country. And I think America does a fair bit in helping people around the world. And all we're saying is people should come here legally, right? You living at dawn, what do you see day in and day out? Yeah, so you know, everybody that comes here legally, uh, they get kind of frustrated watching all this take place, people just crossing freely. And uh, you know, the Border Patrol does what they can do. And uh, it's kind of tough on them. We had a great time with them, uh, fed them a Thanksgiving meal. So grateful for Sujo and Chris that came to do that. And uh, they were just enamored with the idea that somebody cared enough to come and do that because typically they don't get too much affection from the public. And so uh, we're just grateful that you've come here and uh, just pray for Eagle Pass, pray for the border, uh, all the way from San Diego down to uh, Brownsville, uh, this, this border, uh, needs to be secure and uh, your prayers are going to help. We're so grateful. Thank you, Don. So Don mentioned about what we did yesterday. We actually came here to do a, a Thanksgiving meal and say thank you to the Border Patrol agents. So we went to one of the stations and we gave them a small gift and a meal. And coming here and seeing the response that we got from them, I think we're getting ready to do something all across the border to help these men and just to say thank you to them. So if you're interested to partner with us to, to say a big thank you to the Border Patrol of America, uh, get a hold of me and I'd love to tell you how you can help us.